Hello, my name is Daniel Vergara. I am the responsible of the development of uh, those applications, and today we are gonna sh see how to to how to work with the Gear Stress application developed for for Android. Okay, uh, the first image you will see in the, in your phone or your tablet. Uh, we'll see the values you have to fill in order to calculate correctly the, the gear stress. So we have the module, the teeth number, we have the addendum factor, the LX angle, the pressure angle, the gear width, and also can be modified the new centered distance. We will see later how to change that and what will affect and how the, that change will affect, including the addendum factor. But up to now we are gonna leave it as it is. So we are gonna start with the module. We are gonna add the module a value of 4.75. The teeth number is going to be in this case 45 for the pinion and uh, 56 for the gear. We are gonna leave the addendum factor as 1.3. We are gonna add the helix angle a value of 10 and the pressure angle a value of 20. The gear width is going to be 30. Okay. And uh, now I can calculate the gear dimension. As you can see here directly, the reference center distance is the same as the new center distance. Basically, we can change later the center distance if we want uh, in order to modify the contact ratio and extend slightly or increase slightly. The teeth, the tooth height. Okay, so once we have, um, you know, have done click on calculate, uh, we can have a look at the geometry. Here we have the working press angle, the transverse angle, the pitch diameter, of course, base diameter of each uh, element, the root diameter, the working pitch, which is slightly different from the pitch diameter, tip diameter, which is the outside diameter, the addendum of the gear, the tooth depth of the gear, the tip, tip tooth thickness. This is um, a value you can use for reference uh, once you are changing the addendum factor and see how this tip thickness change. I do not recommend to go below one, and it will depend, of course, in the module. But um, for example, for a module of 3.6 or 3.5, it's just you can use this factor, but you can you now go down, you know, over 1.25 millimeters. That would be your, your limit there in order to avoid issues later on with the gear and problems during the, the heat treatment. Okay, we'll see the tooth thickness of the, of the gear. In this case, I mean, it's the same tooth thickness because the X profile has not changed yet. So we have the root tooth thickness, and that will give you an idea about, you know, more or less what will be the geometry of, of the gear pair. So, we will see also the contact ratio okay and that's that's all what we have on, on geometry uh, if we go up okay and we change this slightly the center distance and we go to 75 for example this that means that we are gonna separate we are gonna move out uh, one gear with respect to the other and we hit calculate we will see that the pressure angle is changing. The addendum of the gears changes slightly, the depth thickness also changes slightly. And you can see here that the X profile, the total X profile of the of the gear pair has now a value of 0 0.04. You have a reference value that you can use if you want. Calculate again. In this case, you can see that the thickness go back 
almost to the same values for those two gears because we are basically using the same X profile. Okay. Another change you can see here the tip uh, tip thickness, the tooth tip thickness. If I change this to 1.4, for example, this one, I want to make this uh, this gear or this um, tooth um, um, taller. I hit calculate. You can see the tip thickness here change. The tooth depth for that gear it's now longer, or if it is bigger compared to the gear. See it, 13.62 compared to 12.66. Okay, and um, if you can have a look and compare the contact ratio we have before, right now probably it's higher contact ratio. Okay. If we go now to the stresses, the only information we need is the speed of the input gear, in this case the pinion, we will use 1000. 250 RPMs, the torque in Newton meters, in this case 300 for example, and the quality of the gear. Uh, the quality we are using here is the uh, DIN quality. So once we calculate, we will have the, those results. Well, you can see the time tangential force, the separation force which will be the radial and the axial force in case you have an helical gear. That's the total force which is the combination of tangent, tangential and, and, and a radial force in this case. And uh, now here the contact stress of the gear mesh, the root stress and the life of that gear mesh. Those calculations are based on uh, 8620 steel uh, with the harness uh, surface harness between 58 and 64 uh, rowers C. So you can have a look and see how your system compared to that. And but I mean it cannot be used for for example for for parts or for gears that are not uh, heat treated in this case. And uh, well, lately, uh, this this is the power losses. We have the power mesh that is going through the gear. The efficiency of that uh, power uh, of, that, of that of that mesh, and the kilowatts losses uh, through the mesh due to the effect of sliding and the gear mesh by itself. Let's say, and uh, the last calculation that we can do is. The, an approximation of the windage, windage losses. If we put here the, the, the immersion of the pinion and also the gear, you can see here the line of oil, what would be the portion of gear and pinion that will be immersing oil. In this case I have added 10% for both. If I hit calculate I will have the windage losses. I have to say that uh, this is uh, quite, uh, let's say, uh, an approximation of that. It's something that it goes exponentially increase. I change that to 50%. And it's related to speed and the size of the, of the gear. You can see that with 50% we are going, I think it was 30 or 50 times more than we have before. So. So it, it can give you an idea about uh, what would be the losses you have there. So that's that's it. I hope you can uh, use that calculation. You can go to my help and web page. You will see uh, some other you know information about those uh, those parameters. And well, hope you enjoyed. Thanks. Bye.